some of the churches, some of the people came up with the, the name Camp Hope, and they said, it, we're, we're homeless but not hopeless. And that's how Camp Hope started. Six months ago, leaders from the organization Mission for Him began volunteering at Camp Hope. Our team came in and we decided uh, to come in with the, the teaching of the Word of God. Every Tuesday night, camp residents are invited to a Bible study led by Gabe and his team. And a lot of these guys, they already kind of know what you know they need to do. They just need someone to accept them. Currently, the city of Ontario has accepted Camp Hope, but city officials say the property is zoned for commercial real estate. The reality the men and women will eventually have to leave frightens volunteers. Wow. I hate to think what they would do. What are they going to do? It rains a lot. We get wet. It's cold. Um, you know, it gets so cold at night, it's like painful. It's like cold. Uh, but we just do the best we can. More than 30 organizations volunteer at Camp Hope. They offer jobs, provide weekly AA meetings, and more importantly, give their time. Every Wednesday and Sunday, camp residents are offered a hot shower designed by a volunteer made possible through a $1,500 donation. We came out here and then all there was was the water spigot, and so what we did is we put a uh, shower head on it so that in the summertime at least they'd have a, a way instead of holding a hose over the head that uh, it was just simpler for them. A lot of people that, that just through a bad situation, they're here, and for whatever reason, they just can't get out of it, and they really need some help. Residents say they need jobs and maintain their homeless, but not hopeless. Covering the Inland Empire, Crystal Tesher, News 27.